Hi there guys, I'm Danny, and welcome to this episode of All Monsters Go To Space. Today I'll be talking about the ancient Egyptian god Sobek. This crocodile-headed deity has a nature similar to the crocodile itself, protective yet wild. Sobek is said to symbolise the power of the pharaohs, fertility, protection, and the art of war. People believed in him from way back into the Old Kingdom, up until the Roman period, so from about 2686 to 350 BCE. His main period though where he was at his absolute height was the Middle Kingdom, so about 2055 to 1650 BCE. And in the 12th dynasty, the pharaoh named Amenemhat III was very closely associated with this particular god. Sobek and Horus have also been linked to each other. In some stories it's said that Sobek helped to heal Osiris, and his nature is exceedingly contrasting to itself, from being protective to benevolent, ranging all the way to fierce and almost aggressive, much like the Nile crocodile that he's based on, or it's said they come from him. There is a region in Egypt called Fayum, which translates to Land of the Lake. It's not too far south of Cairo, I believe, and it was the main area that Sobek was worshipped in, and not as a secondary deity, but as the main deity himself. Its capital was even called Crocodopolis, and Sobek Shadeti was the name he would have been worshipped under, because this place used to be called Shadeti before it became Fayum. Other names that he was worshipped under was Neferos and Petsuchos, along with quite a few others. Now because Horus was a higher deity for most, and was also associated with Pharaoh, he and Sobek became linked and were believed to be a symbol of great and divine kingship, or pharaohship, for the ladies. Because Sobek was such a worshipped deity, crocodiles that have been raised in a religious area have been found to have been mummified and their eggs have been used as offerings to Sobek. It's believed that this was because it symbolised the cycle of nature. Egyptians even went as far as using crocodiles that have their eggs in their mouths, which is actually how crocodiles do carry their young, to represent Sobek's protective nature. Well that's it for this video, I'll be doing more on Egyptian mythology in the future, so look forward to those. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!